My beloved brethren, I pray for the Spirit to guide my remarks this evening. A common thread binds us together. We've been entrusted to bear the priesthood of God and to act in His name. We are the recipients of a sacred trust. Much is expected of us. We read in the Doctrine and Covenants, section 121, verse 36, and I quote, the rights of the priesthood are inseparably connected with the powers of heaven, close quote. What a wonderful gift we've been given. Ours is the responsibility to guard and protect that priesthood and to be worthy of all the glorious blessings our Father in heaven has in store for us and for others through us. Wherever you go, your priesthood goes with you. Are you standing in holy places? Before you put yourself and your priesthood in jeopardy by venturing into places of participating in activities which are not worthy of you or of that priesthood, pause to consider the consequences. Remember who you are and what God expects you to become. You are a child of promise. You're a man of might. You are a son of God. This precious gift of priesthood power brings with it not only solemn responsibilities, but also special blessings for ourselves and for others. May we, in whatever place we may find ourselves, always be worthy to call upon its power, for we never know when our need and opportunity to do so may come. During World War II, a friend of mine was serving in the South Pacific when his plane was shot down over the ocean. He and the other crew members successfully parachuted from the burning plane, inflated their life rafts, and clung to those rafts for three days, seeing no one. On the third day, they spotted what they knew to be a rescue vessel. It passed them by. Oh. The next morning, it passed them by again. They began to despair as they realized that this was the last day the rescue vessel would be in the area. Then the Holy Spirit spoke to my friend, and I quote, you have the priesthood. Command the rescuers to pick you up, close quote. He did as prompted. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the priesthood, Turn about and pick us up, close quote. Within a few minutes, the vessel was beside them, helping them on the deck. A faithful and worthy bearer of the priesthood at his extremity had exercised that priesthood, blessing his life and the lives of others. May we determine here and now ever to be prepared for our time of need, our time of service, our time of blessing, as we now conclude this general priesthood meeting, I say to you that you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. May we ever be worthy of these divine accolades. I pray with all my heart, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, amen.